y'all, Laura Messiah, your personal fashion stylist here, and we are busting into an ask me anything question. If you are new around here, we're typically answering fashion questions, but every once in a while you guys ask me a totally random question, and because I'm such a peach, I decided to answer them anyways on this channel in a little segment I call Ask Me Anything. So here's today's question. Lauren, I would love to see what you normally eat on a normal day. How do you keep your figure? Some advice for us. I find that hysterical. <laughs> I'm like, wow, people really care what I eat each day. But hey, I'll share it with you. And since I'm always honest on this channel, that's what I do. I keep it mad reels around here. Um, I'm like a little bit crazy when it comes to food and to eating. A uh, little, little backstory, I've always had like, I've always been small, I've always had, you know, a kind of athletic frame. I've never had to think or worry about what I eat ever. Just, it never occurred to me growing up. Eat whatever I want, stay the same. Then I think it was around like high school, senior year, um, I guess I started to like gain a little weight. I didn't notice, um, but my mom's like, oh, maybe you should like watch what you eat. And it kind of was like, uh, what? And then college came and after college, I think I stayed, I was still stayed small in college. After college, it was the whole like sex in the city era where I was like, oh, I'm gonna drink Alba Martinis and Cosmos all the time. And I gained a bunch of weight and I got a trainer and changed my diet and lost 30 pounds. And since then, I've been a lot more conscious of what I eat. I guess that like little period of gaining weight without noticing really kind of messed me up. So that's when fitness really became really important to my life and eating right came really important to my life. Uh, maybe in some cases, I will take the like eating right dieting thing a little bit too far. Uh, I have the type of brain where I can get pretty obsessive pretty quickly. So with that being said, I've tried every different diet in the book. I've been, oh gosh, what was that one diet called? It was like my first diet, the South Beach diet. I did the South Beach diet, I did Atkins, uh, I only ate raw food, I was a vegan, I was a vegetarian, then I was paleo. <laughs> I've like done everything. And it's kind of exhausting and I don't recommend that at all because it's just like, you know, you get so focused on what the outside looks like and, you know, working in the fashion industry, I should be a size two. Um, I should be able to wear every trend on the runway. I should be stick thin. So it's like dieting, you know, trying this new exercise craze, getting a trainer, doing this, doing that, doing this. So I've gotten to the point like, you know, I'm 35 years old. Heck, maybe by the time this video hits YouTube, I'll be 36, so my birthday's coming up. Um, I'm tired, I'm tired of like, you know, the dieting, the trying to fit into some like visual, you know, standard of beauty. Um, it's all a bunch of crap. So now what I normally eat is I get for my everyday meals, like breakfast, lunch, dinner, I have a meal delivery service and they like pre-make me healthy meals, put them on my doorstep every night. I do that one, um, it's easier. They have all of the things that I can and can't eat. There's no dairy, there's no gluten. Um, it's all organic. It's like the stuff that I feel good eating. Um, it's already there for me. And so that's just great. So one, it has what I like, and two, it saves me time. Uh, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, as someone who's incredibly busy, the time and energy it takes for me to think of like what to cook and when should I make it? Are these groceries gonna go bad? Oh shit, I'm going out of town. Uh, it's just easier for me to get everything delivered. But I also love cooking, it's really fun. So sometimes I might you know, cook myself a meal, um, make like a big thing of soup in the crock pot, love a crock pot. Uh, but I've also allowed myself 
recently over the past year or so is like cut myself some slack and not everything has to be done perfectly. So when I started the meal delivery, it was like, I have to eat all these meals, I have to like make sure, you know, my calories and my macros are on point. And now I'm like, you know what, if I wanna like eat some peanut butter M&Ms, then I'm gonna eat those M&Ms and I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. I love sweets, I have a total sweet tooth, so I will definitely eat cookies and candy. And I'm not saying it in one of those ways that like models and celebrities do on interviews, like, oh, I love myself a square of chocolate every day. Oh, hell no, I'll eat a whole sleeve of Oreos if you let me. So it's definitely like an extreme of like super healthy, you know, coupled with allowing myself to cheat and not really beat myself up about it. Um, how do I keep my figure? Uh, you know, the food's a component, trying to eat like 80% healthy, 20% whatever uh, but fitness is like really really important to me so I box I do boot camp classes I do Pilates I do spinning uh, I walk like at least you know six miles a day with my dog so I'm very physically active and you know it's really all about accepting who you are um, I know that I'm healthy I know that I'm fit has you know getting older changed my dress size yeah, has working out and gaining muscle changed my dress size and how clothes fit me from what I'm used to? Yes, but I know that I'm healthy and fit, so accepting that, accepting health as the meter and not your dress size or you know what you look like in the mirror, what's perfect, has been a really big step for me into just overall living a healthy life. So. That's my little food rant. You asked, I answered. What does that have to do with fashion? I don't know, not much, <laughs> except it's your body and when you get dressed. But you know, don't like take what I say and be like, oh, now I gotta copy Lauren's diet so I can look like her. Dude, don't do that. I've done that so many times, it's ridiculous. Eat what makes you feel good. Remember that food is fuel and your body is the only one you got, so take care of it. Put good things in it, move it around, have a good time, okay? So that's that, that's today's Ask Me Anything. If you have a question for me, you can ask me anything. Or you can ask me a fashion question, is what most people do around here. So drop that question in the comment section below, and I will do my, my very best to answer it right here on video. Speaking of videos, doing these videos three times a week, my friend, fashion galore. And below this video are free gifts from me ebooks, checklists, guides, you never know what might be down there. So go down, scoop some stuff up, get your subscribe on, and I will catch you on the next video.